How do we keep this out of there? You don't keep it. No, I, I don't. I don't. But you say it's about Jesus. What he taught? Yeah, he taught the Sabbath. But you don't keep the Sabbath. So now, when you don't keep the Sabbath, that means what? You're not following Jesus. You're following who? White Jesus. Right. Jesus. Yeah. Because you're following his doctrine. Bring it out, cat. Come in the ground. Uh, I follow the teaching of Prophet Muhammad. Oh, you follow the teaching of Prophet Muhammad. So you follow. Us. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You follow the uh, the teaching of the Arab who had you in slavery. Bring him up. Hold on, pay attention, pay attention. You ready for this? You still have black people in slavery. Right, right. In Saudi Arabia. Right. In Bahrain. Right. Still today, slave market, open slave market, black people have been sold in Arabia. So, if there's going to be a false Christ, is it, do I have to know what the real one looks like for me to be able to identify the false one? Yeah. Because if I don't have no idea what Christ looks like, so any man that come before me and say he's Christ, I'm going to believe it. And that's what happens. They remove the images that we had, you follow? And then put their images. So now, as a man growing up, all you know is white Jesus. You understand? So you understand why that image is there? Why it's important to be there? Because guess what? The black man, any kids pass by him, and I tell them point at Jesus, they point at the white man. Why? Because he's incarnate in their brain. Right. The only way to remove that is for them to read the scriptures to understand that Christ was a black man, and according to scripture, he would be looking similar to a man like that. Well, I, I think it's more about, uh, not about what he looked like, it's more about what he did, what he, what he, what he taught. Both you say it's more about what it, you oh, say. Both imageries are wrong, what I'm saying. There should be no pictures now, in there. That's confusion. Because guess what? I'm going to tell you something. In your head is white Jesus. Right. Right. And it's not about what. Hold on, hold on. Not, not I, now, No, no. It is. It is. And guess what? I'm going to show you something. You say it's more about what he did, right? Yeah, the actions. Okay. The action and the teaching. Yeah. All right, but what he taught. I'm going to show you white Jesus in your head. You ready? White Jesus. Oh yeah, so, it's all up in. No, no you don't believe that. Absolutely. All right. I, I was. All right, young. I'm Muslim. Stop. Stop. I'm Muslim, brother. So I, Stop. I was taught young. Stop. Really Stop. Good. When is the Sabbath day? Sabbath day? Yeah. You say it's about Jesus, right? Jesus kept the Sabbath day. It's about his teaching. He kept the Sabbath day. You supposed to keep the Sabbath day. Right. When is the Sabbath day? It's today, yeah. Today. How do we keep the Sabbath day? How do we keep it? You don't keep it. No, I, I don't. I don't. But you say it's about Jesus. What he taught? Yeah, he taught the Sabbath. But you don't keep the Sabbath. So now, when you don't keep the Sabbath, that means what? You're not following Jesus. You're following who? White Jesus. Right. Jesus. Yeah. Because you're following his doctrine. Bring it out, cat. Come in the ground. I follow the teaching of Prophet Muhammad. Oh, you follow the teaching of Prophet Muhammad. So you follow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You follow the uh, the teaching of. The Arab who had you in slavery. Bring them up. Hold on, pay attention, pay attention. You ready for this? Who still have black people in slavery. Right, right. In Saudi Arabia. Right. In Bahrain. Right. Still today, slave market, open slave market, black people have been sold in our country. Bring it up. But you're Muslim though, right? Are they Muslim? Yes, they're Muslim. So Muslim is selling your people till today in slavery. But you're Muslim. Listen, you confused you, my brother, but we're gonna help you. Read that. Christian? Read that. John chapter 7 and verse 38. Uh -huh. He that believeth on me, twice, as the scripture had said. Twice, that was the Bible says, close, He that believeth close. on me, that's Christ speaking. As you pay attention, as the scripture has said. That means whatever the scripture says, when you say you want to follow Christ, you gotta believe on him the way the Bible says, right? The Bible says he's a black man. The Bible said to send this information to all the churches. So when you say you believe in his teaching, you Open gotta up. do exactly Open as up. it is written. You Open can't get it from any scriptures. You understand what I'm saying? Finish that verse. He that believeth in me on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of, uh, of living water. 
That means you're going to be the one to speak the truth because you actually believe in God the way the Bible says. You understand? Right. So, dealing with the Quran. Uh, give me Jeremiah. You, dealing with, you say you're a Muslim, right? You, 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 uh, you use the Quran? I read the Quran. You read the Quran. What does Quran mean? Uh, you answer, but, the, no, answer the question first. You, can't, you, you didn't answer the question. You can't ask questions, but you gotta answer mine first. What does Quran mean? Quran means. You don't, Rob, I know. To recite. Now, here's the next question. Reciting what? Somebody get my Bible for me? Recite the Bible. Because the Quran was written how many years after the Bible? Get the Bible. The Bible. Get the Bible out. It's to recite the Bible. And I got a few verses from the Quran written on the first page of my Bible. I'm going to share them with you. Oh, so let me ask you a question. Y'all Christians? Y'all Christians? According to Scripture, we are the true Christians. The true right. Christians. We don't. We, hold on, hold on. Oh, we, yes, yes. So we don't follow Christianity. Right. There's a big difference. That's right. You're, 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 but you understand the difference, though. You're under the title of a Christian. So. And there's only one type of Christian. The true, the Israelites are the Christians. All right. All right. All right. Those other people that follow Christianity. Right. Two different things. But Christians. But what I'm saying is, the Ku Klux Klan was going to church on Sundays and, and hanging people on Saturday night. Uh -huh. They was Christians. Yeah. You know what Does that mean? So stop for a second. Stop for a second. Yeah, okay. You were so quick to talk. I just told you, established a difference and it was not registering. Because you had a thought in your mind that you so desperately wanted to make. Because you thought you were going to entrap us by asking us that question when we were Christians. That's where you, that's where you messed up. Uh, so pay attention. No, pay attention. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What is the difference between Christians and Christianity? You tell me. Because Christianity is Christian. nowhere in the Bible. I thank you. Nowhere in the Bible. So the people today... From all those churches, like you said, the KKK, that say they are Christians, they follow Christianity. What? Because the true Christians follow the laws of God. That's right. You see the difference? So by label, they're calling themselves Christians, but they're not the true Christians. Right. So what we teach and what they teach are two completely different things. Right. Because they're not teaching that you are a Jew. They teach that you are a Gentile and you deserve death. Teach them, cat. You're talking about what Christ taught, right? They're not teaching what Christ is teaching. We are. Okay. Right. So let's get back to you. So the same thing go for the Muslims you're talking about. We're in slavery and all that. Does that mean they're right? Does that mean they're... Is that what Allah wants I'm for a, them to do? I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. Step forward a little bit. You see right here? Yeah. Yeah. Quran verses that support Israel. Yeah. Sur yeah. Hold my Bible for me. Surah 57 26. Israelites offspring are prophets. So in the Quran, it says only the Israelites are prophets. Right. I'm going to stop right now. I don't even need to go further. Give me Amos. So if the Quran says the Israelites are prophets, who the hell is Muhammad? Bring it out. In his own book. You got a couple words written down there, bro. You got to read that whole story, man. Now I'm good. No, no, no. And let's read another verse. Because you put, you put Israelites are prophets. You saying that's what that Surah says? Yes. Go read it yourself. Why do you think we have it written down? Because we're not going to bring the Quran here, so we we we, we, we take the verses that we need. Right. Uh, Surah two one twenty two. It says they prefer Israel above all other nations. You follow? Says what? Prefer Israel above all other nations. God only came and died for the nation of Israel. That's Give right. Amos. Yeah. Listen. The book of Amos, chapter 2, and verse 11. Bring it up. And I raised up of your sons for prophets, and of your young men for Nazarites. Is it not even thus, O oh, ye children of Israel? Who he raised for prophets? O oh, ye children. The children of Israel. Daniel, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, David. You understand? Moses. Mosai did not raise any other nation. You, have, you follow? Give me Psalm 147. Mosai does not deal with other nations, right. but every other nation decided to create their own religion. Right. That's what you're not following. We bring you back to your true nationality. We went to slavery because we disobeyed God's law. Right. So he sent our enemies against us, not friends. Enemies. Friends who not enslave friends. Enemies do. So in slavery, you were taught your enemy's religion. 
and today you pass it as your own. Nation is you.